My name is Olivia Blackwood, and I've always been drawn to the allure of abandoned places. The thrill of exploring forgotten spaces filled my veins with excitement, leading me to an old, dilapidated mansion hidden deep within the woods. Little did I know that my curiosity would lead me to a chilling encounter that would forever haunt me. The address of the house was 27, Ravenwood Lane, a hauntingly remote location that seemed to have been erased from the collective memory. Its faded grandeur stood as a silent testament to forgotten stories and lost souls. As I stepped across the mansion's threshold, a sense of unease washed over me. The air was stale, and the floorboards creaked beneath my weight. Ignoring the eerie atmosphere, I ventured deeper into the house, eager to uncover its hidden secrets. In a dimly lit hallway, I stumbled upon a locked door. Determined to uncover its contents, I searched for a key but found none. Undeterred, I decided to force the door open, driven by an insatiable curiosity. Inside, I discovered a room frozen in time. The walls were adorned with faded wallpaper, and dusty furniture sat untouched for years. But what caught my attention was a peculiar antique mirror standing tall in the corner. As I approached the mirror, my reflection seemed distorted, almost twisted. I reached out to touch it, and a shiver ran down my spine. The mirror's surface felt unnaturally cold, as if it possessed a dark presence of its own. When I glanced into its depths, a jolt of horror coursed through me. My reflection was no longer my own. It sneered at me with malevolence, its eyes filled with malice. I tried to step back, but an unseen force held me in place. Whispers echoed from within the mirror, in a language I couldn't comprehend. The air grew heavy, suffocating, as if the room itself had turned against me. Panic consumed me, but escape was futile. Days turned into a sleepless haze as the mirror's hold on me intensified. Its whispers seeped into my mind, filling it with darkness and despair. I could no longer trust my own thoughts, for they were tainted by the malevolent force within the mirror. In a desperate attempt to break free, I sought help from a renowned paranormal expert. Together, we returned to the mansion, armed with ancient rituals and protective talismans. But our efforts proved fruitless. The mirror's power was far greater than anything we could comprehend. And now, as I write this, I am trapped in that forgotten room, my sanity hanging by a thread. The whispers have taken over my mind, and the mirror's influence consumes me. I am a mere puppet, dancing to its sinister tune. If you ever stumble upon 27, Ravenwood Lane, heed my warning, beware the forgotten room and the cursed mirror within. For once it captures your reflection, it will claim your soul, leaving you forever trapped in a nightmarish existence between realms. But perhaps, by sharing my story, I can warn others and bring an end to the cycle of torment that plagues that cursed place. The days inside the mansion blurred into a surreal nightmare as the mirror's malevolence tightened its grip on my mind. Sleep became elusive, and the relentless whispers echoed through the forgotten room like a haunting lullaby. I could feel my sense of self slipping away, replaced by a growing darkness that threatened to consume me entirely. In my fractured state, I became obsessed with the haunting history of 27, Ravenwood Lane. I scoured the mansion for any clues about its past, hoping to find a key to unlock the mystery that bound me to the cursed mirror. The walls seemed to hold secrets, the faded wallpaper concealing tales of tragedy and despair. As I delved deeper into the mansion's history, I uncovered the story of a family that had once called Ravenwood home. The Blackthorn family, as they were known, had fallen victim to a curse that spanned generations. The mirror, a cursed relic passed down through the family, was said to be a portal to a realm of malevolent spirits. The patriarch of the Blackthorn family, Edmund Blackwood, had dabbled in forbidden rituals to gain power and wealth. The curse, a consequence of his dark deeds, had claimed the lives of generations that followed. The mirror became the focal point of their torment, a vessel for the trapped spirits seeking release. Driven by an inexplicable connection to the Blackthorn family's tragic history, I began to piece together a plan to break the curse. The mansion's walls seemed to guide me, as if the spirits themselves were yearning for liberation. I discovered an ancient family journal hidden in the depths of the mansion, its pages recounting the rituals that had bound the family to the cursed mirror. With newfound determination, I embarked on a journey to break the curse that ensnared me. The journal spoke of a ritual, a convergence of astral energies that could sever the ties between the mirror and the tortured spirits. The ancient text detailed the steps required to banish the malevolent force that had haunted the Blackthorn family for centuries. Gathering the necessary ingredients and ancient artifacts, I returned to the forgotten room. The mirror seemed to leer at me, its twisted reflection mocking my feeble attempts to defy its power. Undeterred, I began the ritual, chanting the incantations and channeling the mystical energy needed to break the curse. The room quivered as the ritual unfolded. Shadows danced on the walls, and the air crackled with an otherworldly energy. The mirror resisted, its malevolence fighting against the surge of power aimed at freeing the trapped spirits. I felt the weight of centuries-old despair as the room became a battleground between the forces of light and darkness. 
In a blinding burst of light, the mirror shattered. The room fell silent, and the oppressive atmosphere lifted. I gasped for breath, the weight that had burdened me for so long finally lifted. The whispers faded into an echo, and the mirror's malevolence dissipated like a dissipating fog. I collapsed to the floor, both physically and emotionally drained. The mansion, once a prison of darkness, seemed to sigh in relief. As I looked around, the forgotten room transformed before my eyes. The dust settled, revealing a space untouched by malevolence, its walls now exuding an air of peace. I emerged from 27, Ravenwood Lane changed but liberated. The curse that had bound me to the mirror was broken, and the spirits that had languished in torment were finally at rest. The mansion, no longer haunted by the shadows of its past, stood as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit against the forces of darkness. With a profound sense of closure, I left 27, Ravenwood Lane behind, its secrets and curses buried in the annals of the supernatural. The haunted mansion retreated into the shadows, its grandeur fading as nature reclaimed its dominion over the once-forgotten place. The warning, however, remained, an echo of the past and a reminder of the thin veil between the known and the unknown. 27, Ravenwood Lane stood as a cautionary tale, urging those who dared to explore the mysteries of abandoned places to tread carefully, for the line between curiosity and malevolence was a razor-thin thread. The forgotten room and the cursed mirror were now a part of the mansion's history, a chapter closed by the courageous pursuit of redemption and the breaking of an ancient curse.